Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Happy Bare Feet Live Day. It's been a while since we've done a Bare Feet Live with dance. I am so excited to have uh, a dance guest on today because it is our first guest of 2021. We're going to be dancing again. We're going to be moving. I don't know about you, but I need some dance this week. <laughs> um, I can't believe a lot, so much has happened since last week. And I feel like I say that every week because so much happens on a daily basis in this world and in this country um, and in this place. So we are super excited to be back. Bare Feet Live is back. Uh, a couple housekeeping notes. We are no longer doing lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're only doing them on Tuesdays um, for a few reasons. N number one, it is so much better to be doing our Bare Feet Lives on our YouTube and Facebook Live for dance because we have a bigger screen bigger space for our guests. I want our guests to be able to move and feel creative and be able to share their dance with us. When we do it on Instagram Live, it's a little too small, um, but we will still be doing some Instagram Lives when I do some travel interviews with some of our amazing travel speakers. So uh, let's say a quick hello to everybody who's on here. We've got, oh my gosh, Garrett, hello, Matt, Maya, Sue, Barb, so many wonderful people. Tell us where you're coming from. Nick, Rashad, uh, thank you so much for joining in. We've got so many wonderful people. Eric from Texas, thank you always for, for joining us. Um, I hope you guys are ready to move. Uh, we have a new friend today. This is a, a new dancer who we just met, but I'm super excited to be connected with her. And there's an incredible dance school that she works with, and they offer live classes uh, in Brooklyn. And it's just wonderful, wonderful to have her on. Oh, amazing. St. Louis, Missouri, Ohio, Vegas. Mahalo. We have um, the Ewan family on here from DC. They are supporters of the Bare, she Bare Feet series. We're always so grateful for their support. Without them, Bare Feet would not be possible. And speaking of, we have two new episodes coming out in February. So stay tuned. We have a couple new announcements. But I've got my sneakers on today because we're going to be moving. Uh, I couldn't even show that. That's like how sore I am right now. <laughs> We've got our sneakers on. I would love to introduce today's Bare Feet Live guest. It is Shari Chevedez of Kumbe Dance. Where are you, Shari? Let me get you in here right now. Hello! <laughs> yes, I love it! Hi, everybody. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Me. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Shari. Thank you so much. Um, tell everyone on here a little bit about yourself um, and what kumbe is too. So how did you start dancing actually? Yeah, so um, I've been dancing. So I I say that I salsa my way out the womb. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been dancing since I was a kid. My mother's Puerto Rican. Um, my father's African American. But ironically, I learned salsa from him because he grew up in New York at the time that salsa was coming up. So he was used to the street dances and everything. So he was my first salsa partner. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've started taking classes in the studio, um, like a lot of like young kids do, you know, you either do like gymnastics or dance or martial arts or something. Right. Um, I stuck with it and and musicality and dance has always been like, a, an, a, excuse me, an innate part of my life. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, I just can't live without it. Even, you know, throughout like my years, um, kind of dabbling in and out of different careers, I still always found myself dancing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, once a dancer, always a dancer, right? Like Dancer, always a dancer. It. And yeah. so, um, I'm trained in like, you know, some of the contemporary and classical styles. Uh, I dance mostly in hip hop and uh, some West African, Afro beats, Caribbean styles of dance. Of course, salsa, bachata, the Latin styles. Um, I do a little belly dance. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah, girl. <laughs> you know, I think I saw in one of your videos you had, you were using uh, uh, bomba music. Does your, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, that may have been, I teach, so at Kumbe Dance, I was teaching first Afro-Latin fusion, and then I decided to do like a specific reggaeton class. Uh -huh. um, so in the Afro-Latin fusion, I tended to use like either Afro beats or reggaeton or some like bomba music, cha-cha, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, the beauty about Afro diasporic dances is that they share a lot of the same like polyrhythms yeah. and some of the same foundational movements. Mm -hmm. So some of them really segue well into another, like you can use some moves and other styles of dance. And that's what I do is, is like a, a fusion. So I call it Afro-Latin fusion, um, which is a little bit of what we'll do today, but it's more on a reggaeton side. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of, you know, having sort of this place where there's dance of, of, of the African diaspora, wow. uh, talk about Kumbe dance, because that was the mission of, of the school. 
Yeah, so Kumbay Dance was started by um, dancer choreographer Dominique Bravo, Pat Hall, and Jimena Martinez, uh, who was actually our executive director. Um, and so Jimena wanted to find a place like she loves African diasporic dance, but we, there was no space in Brooklyn where she can go to dance these um, these forms. So she teamed up with the other co-founders and they started the school. Um, it's about six years strong, I think. <laughs> Um, and we're located in the historical uh, bed in Brooklyn in the Restoration Plaza. So if anyone is in New York and you want to come by once we're open again. <laughs> right, right. Well, which is good because you guys are, you kept Kumbay alive, right? You yeah. Have to go online. Yeah, we're, we're so fortunate to be able to continue to offer African and African rooted dance classes in the online world. And then once we're able to get back into a space, we're going to continue to offer them online. So we'll do like hybrid classes and everything. Oh, cool. So and cool. Way, and we've always wanted to reach our international audiences, um, you know, because we do teach like, the African diaspora is global. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we teach different forms. We have classes uh, of all different types, uh, excuse me, types of West African styles, such as from uh, Guinea, Mali, Senegal, Ivory Coast. Uh, we have Afro-Haitian, Afro-Cuban, Samba, um, Afrobeat. Sometimes we have dance hall. So we, yeah. if we have it on our regular online offerings, then we offer it usually as like a special workshop or yeah. like a special event. And for everybody on here, some of you may recognize other Kumbay teachers. We've had Julio Jean do Haitian folkloric dance with us. We have Esra Warda, who she did. Um, oh, Algerian. Yeah, Shabi, yeah. Shabi, yeah, Shabi, she did Moroccan Shabi. She was with us. So we've had a bunch of the Kumbay family already That's with so the Fairfield nice. Live. Yeah, so we're so happy to have you on here. And we're so happy that you guys have kept the spirit of dance alive. Uh, especially through all of this that's been going on. Um, so tell us what we're going to be doing today because Bare Feet Live is, we love to share dance and share music and share these stories, but of course we love to move, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, this class is, again, reggaeton e-flow. Um, I call it e-flow because reggaeton itself is a combination. It's a mix of styles, um, but my style is more flowy and I like to switch it up. <laughs> so that's oh. why we like I do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> um, reggaeton is started off as an underground. Actually, let's go back further. So okay. um, around the 70s, 80s or so, when there was this larger um, influx of Jamaican immigrants to Panama, mm -hmm. uh, there uh, formed a musical style called Spanish rap. And they just called it reggae in español. So it went from there, came back to Puerto Rico, and it started to develop in the 90s as underground hip hop, underground rap. So mm -hmm. that's where the tone came from. And then it started to just like take form because of course we're incorporating elements of hip hop and dance hall and our own like, and Spanish, right? And then our own like bomba y plena and everything else. So you'll see that not only in the musical style, but also in the dance styles. Like you'll see mm -hmm. moves that could go in a hip hop class. Some, some things are like, oh, that's a little salsa-y, right? Or that looks a little bit like dance hall, Caribbean whining because we incorporate all of that into the style. I love that. Yeah, yeah, it's a true like Caribbean fusion. <laughs> Which is what the Caribbean is. It's such a, a mix always you know, and always evolving. That's what I just love about this. Yeah, so yeah. reggaeton itself has evolved a lot, right? From the early 90s being mostly like Spanish rap where it sounded a lot like hip hop of the 90s. Mm -hmm. And then it started to take form where it had more melodic flows, had more of the dance hall vibes. So it started to get more of that like sort of Sean Paul vibe. Right, um, right. And then you have Dembo, which is, uh, you have a lot of Dominican artists that really have embraced the dembow style, which is more of the hard hitting, um, like, you know, fast moving style. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so we have a lot of dembow, excuse me, Dominican artists now that are um, in the reggaeton house, but you also have seen lately, it's it's moved to Colombia. So you have a lot of Colombian artists like Jay Balvin, mm -hmm. um, who's really popular right now, who are like dominating the reggaeton scene. So it's continuously growing and evolving. <laughs> Wow. Wow. So yeah. everybody in here, we are about to take this class. So Shari, what I'm going to let you do is you're going to get ready, set up. I'm going to change this because again, Bare Feet Live, I am the student. Shari is the expert. Our guest is always the expert. So I'm going to be taking the class with all of you. Um, and what I want you to do is find space wherever you are, feel comfortable. No one's watching you. Uh, I'm the unlucky one where I have to be on screen learning how, how to do these dances, but we are so, so honored to have Shari on here. She is our teacher. 
I am taking the class with you. Follow her. And again, because we're beaming up, right, we're doing everything virtually, I am a little bit um, delayed. So don't follow my rhythm. Follow Shari and her music. Um, and a quick hello. We have so many wonderful people in here. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, yeah, I got a haircut. Yes, thank you for noticing. I chopped like six inches off. It was my first haircut since COVID hit. So I feel very, so fresh and so clean right now. It's awesome. <laughs> Um, and I saw that uh, there was a fan of ours that ran into me in Ireland last year. Uh, Barb, thank you so much for saying hello. I think if this is the you're the right person, we met at the um, Guinness storehouse, right, Barb? I think that was awesome. Um, Desiree, thank you. Danny G is ready to dance. Danny G's on here from Summer Stage. Yes, girl. Oh my God, love you so much. Uh, Glenn, thank you. All right, Shari, Mike is to you. Okay. Yes. Dance, and I'm going to let you take over and everybody, Shar is going to be our teacher. You follow her. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for joining. Um, it's such a pleasure to dance and move and teach you guys. Even if I can't see you, I can feel your spirit and your energy and I see your comments in the chat. So woo -woo. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to play some music for us to stretch together. I'm going to like use my cues and try to like yell loud enough so you hear me say like, stretch or lean or lunge or whatever um but you know just keep your eye on the camera and look for those cues and then we'll get into some pretty easy movement love it and love challenge. It. <laughs> let's for some reason there's something funky i'll go like this which means like time out yeah and if everything's cool i'll just the emoji <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get it <laughs>
Just so you could hear it, I like to play the song before I teach so that people can like get an idea of the rhythm and the melody and not just be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight without really feeling it and knowing it. Yeah. The song is called Lento. It's um Which means actually, slow, right? Lento means slow. Lento means slow. So I was like, well, we're gonna do something easy and slow and chill today. <laughs> also, it's a new track. So it's a new drop by J Balvin. And Mr. Easy, Mr. Easy is a really popular Afrobeats artist. So you'll find in a lot of these reggaeton styles and, and songs, like a lot of the artists will collaborate and have remixes with Afrobeats artists because the musical styles are very similar. We're cousins. Right, right. So I'm going to play the song for you. It's called Lento. So you hear it's a nice smooth rhythm. Trying to give you that rhythm, yeah? We're going to let it play a little bit more because the next part is like, yeah, yeah love it. Hey, yes. Okay. Okay. Love it. Love it. Yes. So we're going to start. Um, let me put my hair back. Yeah. So we're going to start. With this, I'm actually gonna face the back and then I'm gonna face you, okay? okay. Um, let me know if me facing the back is like just not working very well. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with your right foot. Also, I wanna note that I'm doing the, I'm telling you guys which foot we're doing when I'm facing the back, but when I'm opposite, I'm mirrored. So it's gonna look opposite, just so okay. you know. Okay, so. We're gonna go, actually, I'm sorry to go back and forth. I don't wanna confuse anybody, so it's gonna teach this time. <laughs> so we're gonna go um, to your left. In, out, in, out, okay? Uh -huh. So I'm using my right. Um, if you wanna start on your left, that's fine. Your right, your leg is gonna come in, knee in, straighten out, knee in, straighten out. I just really want to make a quick note. When we're talking about knees, please don't pit your weight. When we dance, we dance in the balls of the feet. 
But we're not pitting our weight forward because when you do that, you put your weight on your joints and that's where you can get harm, right? So we want to protect ourselves and have good technique. So even when I'm here, I'm really squeezing through the back side of the body using my quads, hamstrings, glutes, etc. So I'm here, straight, here, straight. This is also happening with my pelvic floor. So it's like a little scoop, like I'm scooping ice cream, scoop, scoop, scoop. Good. So I'm going in. In, in, in. Yes, five, six, seven, eight. We go right, da, other side, ha. My arm is just coming across. Then center is like a, a collection. And then other side, same thing. Six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and. So you're gonna take your leg. You're gonna go heel, toe, heel, toe. Yes, so we win. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and. Okay, the arms just come out to the side, chill, because you're basically showing off the feet. So it's like a look what I got. Yes, so you're going heel, toe, heel, toe, wind forward. Ha. Huh? So now you take the opposite leg that you just heel toed in, you're going to step it forward. When I step it forward, I go to my toe and then I push through to do a body roll, mm. all right, so push through. And you really wanna release, so you push all the way, you let the shoulders squeeze in the back, chest is all the way expanded, and then you let the shoulders collapse, yeah? So boom, and if you let your head go with it, like I'm not doing when I'm looking at you, um, <laughs> that gives you more yeah. of that yeah. yeah. So let's do a yeah? Five, six, seven, eight, we go, one, two, Three, four, heel, toe, heel, toe, wind. And you're just gonna go straight into it. Good, let the arms just flow. Don't worry about them, they will follow. So if you really need to put your arms somewhere, you can take your fingers, not like plaster the hands, but just gently like touch yourself for them um, to trace and you can bring them up. And then once you get to this part where your wind comes in and the hands are about neutral, you can just let them flow out. Yeah. So boom. Yeah. And then right in front of the chest, right there. So from there, we said, roll. You're going to take the same foot, and you're going to step forward. Your arm is going to pump in as you step forward. Uh-huh. So you went, wind, roll it in. Uh-huh. Yes. Let's put that together. Five, six. Seven, eight, she goes, ooh, lento, ooh, lento, ha, da, 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 ooh. Ooh, back, I was the part, back. Yeah. <laughs> and again, <laughs> Woo. five, six, seven, eight, we go, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight, one, two. Beautiful, cool. one more time. Five, six, I'm gonna try to sing it. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, we go, boom. Lento, ooh, lento, something, da 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 da, ooh, da da da, hit. Yeah. Good stuff. Ooh, okay. so I love your lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try, you know, triple threat. <laughs> a few more times, because I know it's it's a little quick. And we do have people that are doing this for the very first time, including myself. Could we do it two more times? Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight. We go in, center, in, center, heel, toe, heel, toe, wind, and pull in. Good. One more time. Five, six. Siete, we go, ooh, lento, ooh, lento, heel toe, heel toe, wind, and pull, hit. Let's try that with music so we can okay. get the, it's all about the feel. Yeah. At the end of the day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's and see. this class you offer at Kumbe too. So once people start taking this little mini yeah. lesson, if they want to keep taking class with you, they just go to kumbedance.com. Yeah, they can. Come and ask my And I teach on Tuesdays at six o'clock <laughs> today. <laughs> right. If you want to keep dancing, we're starring tonight on Kumi Dance. Yes. <laughs> Let's see.
see. Um, let me make sure I start the song in the right place. Ooh. Actually, I decided we're going to do it on the Suave Memphis part. Oh, yes. And I know you like that. Also, I just want to add one detail. Yes. Because Suave Mente, Besame, right? Mm -hmm. So the Besame part is on the heel toe. So we go Suave Mente. Ha, instead of heel toe with the arms out, Besame. Ah, so just cover your mouth and wipe it away. Love it. Besame. And then bring it in. Okay. Love and if you're, like, if you're at home and you're like, I want to do something else, like it's, he's saying, kiss me. Besame. Right. So give yes. it your. <laughs> Let's try it with music. Yes. Yes. Six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Again, seven, eight. Hit and hit, roll. So, sorry, I lost it. So, okay. Suavemente, ha, besame, wind. That's going to fall right after his words. Besame, wind, um, one, two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Do it again. Two times with the music. Love it. Yes. <laughs> Let me start it sooner. Give you time to feel it. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Again! Love it. I'm so glad I'm going to do it. No, go ahead. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Yes, you look good, girl. <laughs> you know I'm trying to do the same as you, which is the opposite of what I'm seeing. So, do you get what I'm doing? So, that's why yeah. sometimes. Oh, other so that's why I'm always so no. Don't watch me and nobody watch me. Watch Shari. <laughs> okay, but also that said, like that's legit one of the challenges of learning on platforms like this. So that said, if you start a certain way, start that way. Yeah, it's mirroring. It's mirroring, right? So this you're doing it twice. So if you and you might be left-handed. Right, so this might actually feel better for you to start on the other side. So as yeah. long as you're doing the movement, right, whatever yeah. feels good to you, as long as you're doing it, that's okay. And if you're like, oh, I stepped forward with a different foot, and then did you step? Did you get that? Did it feel good? That's all that matters. Love it, love it. <laughs> yes. yes, that's such a good reminder. That's such a good reminder. Yes. So yeah, you know, like, this is not the time for us to be hard on ourselves about these things. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So let's just review it, and then we'll move on. Okay, cool. And we went five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two. You're going to pull. Now, I'm doing it to my left. Again, it's whatever side feels good to you. Um, it's also kind of by general rule, the foot that drags because it's free, right? So the foot that drags behind you is the one that you're gonna open up to the side first and then you're gonna open up to the other side, yes. So that is fist pulls through the elbow and it's not just the elbow, it's actually your chest. So it's, mm. it's like a lever, right? Yeah. Cool. And then you just switch place force arch on the toe so that you can lean into it yeah so we go step step so we went 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do two of those. In this oh, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, double, five, six, which means you can't go all the way the first time, right? Mm -hmm. If you go all the way, then you have to come all the way back. You wanna go like halfway and then all the way. And that last um, push is gonna give you the energy momentum to do like a little kick, okay? So it's like a little salsa kind of styling kind of thing. Yeah. So you can't see it with these converses, but I'm pointing my toe. So if you can, <laughs> or else it's just like. <laughs> um, yes. Use that energy, hit here. And the, the foot is like, it's like sweeping off the ground, yeah? Boom, you're going to step. And again, I'm using my left, okay? You're going to step. You're going to open up to the back. The way that you're going to open up to the back, you kick, you step, you start to bend. You're, I'm not putting pressure on my knees. I'm using my quads. And then I'm opening up to the back. Yes. And then I bring it around up. We're just going to do that for now. Yes. So we went kick, step, wind, up. Yes, you're using the energy from this wide squat to just come up is literally what you're doing as you turn. Yes, okay. so let's do that from the pull. Okay. Yeah, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow. Go slow. <laughs> go, girl, slow. We got <laughs> music goes on, I get excited. <laughs> so we go pull, side, double pump. That last that last pump is the kick. So it's five, six, seven, and open up. We'll just say eight. One. Don't worry about counts right now. <laughs> Good. Good. One more time. Same thing. So we're going to go pull, side, and side, side kick, step to squat, open to the back. Use that momentum to come up. Now I'm stopping. I want us, I'm going to let us continue doing that, like here, because it's this motion actually is continuous. Okay. So it does, it's its own thing. I want it to look like, let me try it backwards. <laughs> Here, here, ha, is what it looks yeah. like. So, so you no, see that? it's his own step, but we're not going to stop there. We want the momentum to continue. Yeah? Yeah. Again, that looks like, trying to do it backwards, ha. <laughs> um, here, step, open. Yes. Okay, good. Let's try that from the pull. Yeah. Great. Five, six, Get there we go. Pull, side, and double pump, hit, step, roll, turn. Yes! Yeah. Ah. All right. Um, sorry, I hear the clicking from my do you hear the clicking from my notifications? Yeah, that's okay though. Okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Wait, let me turn it off. All right, cool. So let's try it again from the top so that we don't. Um, so we can put it together. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Woo! Here we go. Five, six, seven. We go side and side. Heel, toe, kiss. Ha, hit, roll, pull, pump, pump, kick, step, roll, turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> again, again. Five. I'm take my shoes off because I'm sticking on the carpet, and I'm so I'm, oh, I'm, good, I'm, oh. good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Okay. Yes. 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 Barefoot on carpet's usually a little easier. Okay. Yeah. Five, six, siete. We go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one. Woo! Yes. Yes. Are you ready to 
Fight with music. <laughs> Let's do it a hair faster because I know the music is a little faster, right? Without music I, first. It's like it's like not really, but almost. But yes. Yeah. 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 Cool. Here we go. Five, six, seven, we go. Sabemente. Ha. Besame. Roll. Hit. Step. Ha. Ha. Woo. Six. Yeah. <laughs> You're six, right. Seven, Part eight. is faster. Use yeah. the energy from your chest here. I collapse it to go here, here. So I go, um, this is one, this is one, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah. One, use that, use the arms to help you. Hit, they're already there. Ha, ha. Yes, yeah. good. And remember, you are use, you are um, moving through the elbow, but the in movement is initiated from the chest. It's like you're pulling your chest through the wall, right through the door, or whatever visual you want to use. <laughs> Again, one more time um, without the music, and we'll put it to the song. Yes, here we go. Five, six, siete. We go one, two, three, four. Besame. Wind one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Now, one question. I have a question. So yes. what I'm what I'm getting stuck on is I do besame here, uh, here four, up one. Right? It's fast. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, and <laughs> um, <laughs> I got you, boo. Okay. okay. So da da da. Da, da, da. So this wine, actually, I leave it in place so that I have somewhere to go for that. Ah, okay. So the wine is underneath myself. I'm not doing anything extra with the hands until I, I'm kind of like pressed in to bring it forward. And then that's that same energy to the side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ba, ba. So this ends up being one. But this, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. So that's like seven and eight, actually. Seven mm -hmm. and eight, one. So if you keep yourself like in place and you just do that move, it'll be easier to hit that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You make it look so easy, Shari. It's like, <laughs> move. <that's what> <laughs> right in. I love it. Trust me, it looks easier on you than you're giving yourself credit for. We're always oh. so <laughs> harder on ourselves than we need to be. Believe that. So I let's music. music. Yes, music. That Everybody way. here, I hope you're dancing with us. I hope you're moving with us. It feels good. I'm warm right now. I was like tight I'm earlier sorry. and cold. I'm feeling nice and warm. <laughs> You're like <laughs> glistening. We're glistening. Right. Yeah. Yes, glistening. <laughs> I love it. Um, let's pull it up. Desiree. Oh, thanks, Boo. So sweet. You guys are amazing. amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying this dance and getting a little glisten yourselves. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, also for my fellows in the room, like. Anatomy is the same. Mm -hmm. So that said, we can choose, and this goes for anybody, right? Like we could choose to make something feminine or masculine in our demeanor has nothing to do with who's supposed to do what and what, right? So like for the wine, like they, they, oh, wait, wait, wait. Ba, ba, da, hit. If you don't want to be like here for the best I'm in, you could just like, yeah. right? Yeah. Give it a little, like, hey, girl, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, when we do the wine, you can make it more masculine by like, adding the hands, boom, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of like moving the trace. So there are ways to, and that goes for anybody, because sometimes I like to dance a little bit more mas masculine style too. Uh -huh. So that should be a little tip for you guys. <laughs> love it. I love that. Yes. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
Five, six, seven, eight. You see, I keep adding on, right? I love it. I love it. I can't. Okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> that way we can get it in our bones. Yeah. How do you feel? One more time, one more time, one more time. and then on, and then I think we're good. Yeah, oh, I just have to do little, little, little things, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Love awesome. It. I love it. Ay! This is so fun, Shari. Oh, my God. This, thank you. I'm having so, so much fun. fun. This is a great, like, midday break. <laughs> hey, that's how we do this. this Get out, out, of your, out of your desk, like, move a little. And, yeah, I mean, movement is medicine. So this is, like, so helpful for us just to get our blood flowing. It helps spark creativity. These things help us to start thinking about problem solving in different ways. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can go back to the work and be like, oh, that's how. <laughs> it's true. After every time I do a bare feet live, when I get back to my desk, like, oh, I have all these great ideas. And I, I'm like, I'm ready to do this. Plus, I have the energy because you're you're not just sitting and stationary. Yeah, you're moving stuck energy around. So yeah. you end up like Kermit the Frog meme where you're just like. <laughs> Thank you. Reggaeton flow. Let's go. <laughs> Love it. We're ready for it. We're ready for it. We're ready for it. So we turn around, right? And let me actually go into it. Boom, here. So if you're, um, I'm turning around over my right shoulder, so it's my left that's dragging. Mm -hmm. So whichever foot you're turning, like whichever foot that's dragging for you as you turn around, because you might be going this way, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, that foot is going to be the next thing that hits the ground. So you're going to bring it here. You're going to go step, and I'm pinning my weight into the left hip all the way into the socket. Yeah, all the way. Kind of like trying to give your mama some sass and like, <laughs> or you want to hit your Beyonce? Yeah. Right? yeah. All the way, all the way. <laughs> um, because you want to transfer weight. It's about a weight transfer. Uh -huh. So you're going one, two, three, four. Let's just say four. So you go one, two, three, four. Um, the hands are in fists and you're going ba, da, da, da. Okay. So like you're pulling, it's the same. It's like, it's like you're pulling a string or opposite. It's the opposite. So because I'm hitting my left, I'm doing my left hip first. It's my right hand. So it's almost like I'm hitting my hip to that side. Ah. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, now that's like the more like kind of feminine version. If you want to like make it a little bit more mask, then you can like hit or you can go right in front. So you can either go right, left, right, left, or you can go ha, ga, ha, ha. Mm. Up to you, whatever your energy for today is. Love it. Yeah. So we went from this kick, step, turn, bring it up. That foot drags so as soon as you place it, right, left, right, left. I'm saying my hands. Opposite, right? Opposite, 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 opposite. <laughs> Let's do it that way. Yeah. So from this pull. Cool. So I can actually give it the right um, timing. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one so actually we're gonna go eight and one mm. five. Ooh. <laughs> eight and so you're gonna do the same thing for one only difference is you're going to let that leg come all the way out and then hit into the hip 
which means you're bending, boom, kind of like a side lunge, and then you're just gonna sweep that leg in. If I'm doing it from the side, then it's, maybe this side, ba, da, da, no, <laughs> da, 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 there. Yeah, it's going hit and hit. Good, yes, hit and don't be afraid to let your body collapse. So there is okay, but boom, ba, let the upper body go all the way and then bring it up. Yes, so yeah. we go. Boom, boom, hit. You're gonna drag this leg in. So it's not just front facing. When you come up, you can kind of swivel your chest and lower half just a little bit. You're gonna take that leg, toe, knee facing in, swivel it in, and you're gonna come out. Okay, what that looks like is step, step, boom, and out. Yes. Mm. To finish that step, this is an Afrobeat move. I want to say it's, I want to say it's a Nigerian Afrobeat move. I don't remember the name of it. Um, codifying these Afrobeat moves is relatively new, whereas before we just had steps. Now they like have names. I like. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, this step we're gonna go right, or rather, whichever knee you came out with. One, two, opposite leg. Three, same foot, four. So it's like a single, single, double. Right, da, hit, hit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So we just turned around, right? We did the swivel to turn around. You step, hit, hit, all the way in, knee, knee, double knee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's just try it like, as if we're coming out that turn. So we go here. Eight. All right. One. Uh huh. Hit all the way in. Knee, knee, double hit. The last element with that knee is that I'm doing like a little bit of a chest pop. So it's not like an individual chest pop, right? It's more like when I press to the knee, my chest is coming with it, right? And it's almost like there's a wall that I hit where they pop. So I'm like, oh, oh right? Can't keep going. So it's not meant to be like a chest pop type of deal. That's Try to make it together. Yeah. So you press up, press into that knee. Yes. Press, 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 and press. And, and you're in a little bit that second time to give it, right? Yeah. So you're going side, side, hit, then I collapse a little bit just to give it out the second time. Yeah. yeah. Great observation. Yeah. Yes. So let's do that from the pull. The okay. bring together. Here we go. Six, seven, eight. We go pull. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hit. In knee, 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 knee. So Woo! I love how you just kind of yeah. yeah. Whatever you like, you know, you could just kind of. It's like swag, yeah? yeah. So, <laughs> mm, lento, nice and slow. What? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Let's put it together for the top. Do you have any questions? Do we have questions, guys? Oops. Oh, and I also have a... Try to repeat the post. -it. Oh, my God. This is great. This is great. I think we got to keep going because we're almost out of time. Oh, okay. So I think we're good. And they're a little delayed. Everything is slightly delayed, so that's good. Hi, Kume. Kume's on here with us. Yes. Um, <laughs> love, it, love it. All right. Awesome. So let's do it two times all the way through the counts. And then we'll just run it with music and get the flow and the feel and have fun. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, you're doing great, Michaela, and everybody at home. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Everybody on here, this is Shari Shevet as we are doing reggaeton e uh, flow. Just get up and move. And she is a teacher at Kumbe Dance. Tonight, she's doing this reggaeton flow class as well. So if you love what you're doing today, sign up for tonight's class. And they have other teachers that we've also featured on our Barefeet Lives. Esra Warda is doing a Moroccan Shabi workshop. We've got Julia Jean doing Haitian folkloric dance. It's family. It's all family. So we love it. We love it. We love African on Sundays. We have yoga on Saturdays. We have Caribbean fitness on Saturdays. We yes. Have 
Yeah, we have Samba on Mondays. We have a little bit of everything. <laughs> I love it. All about, it's all about the family, yes? Yes. Yeah. Go. All right. From the top, two yeah. times. Five, six, siete, we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. To finish the count, seven, eight, I just want you to walk. Like, make it your own, like a, mm, whatever you want. Yes, whatever you want, you can walk off. <laughs> Bye. You can walk in place and just be like attitude, be like whatever. That's all you, okay? It's your feeling. Love it. Okay, one more time and then music. Yes. Okay, five, six, siete, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I music, music, music. Should Good job. Music? Yes, let's do it in music. Our music a few times. Yeah. Join us. This is the last few times we're going to be doing it. So practice and all of these videos, whether you're tuning in on YouTube Live or Facebook Live, they're going to stay up on our channels. So you could go back and practice. If you want to take class with Shari on at Kumbe Dance, please sign up. We'd love for you guys to join her because this is so much fun. I think I'm going to have to add this to my Tuesday night. Yes. Heck yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Last few times, join us before we have to say goodbye for the day. Um, but thank you, Shari. This is so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having us, Michaela. <laughs> Let's go, people. Bye. Five, six, seven, we go. <laughs> again, again, again. Remember, it's not so much about perfecting the steps, it's about getting into the feeling of it. Okay, so now, like, however you feel about whether or not you got it, just Go into the feeling, right? Like, what is? Mm, give a little, little character, a little, little something. I like to say that this is our moment to express a part of ourselves that we may not otherwise get to express. Yeah. Right. So maybe dig into your Sasha fears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> There we go. Five, six. <laughs> Remember, you can keep moving. <laughs> keep moving. Get that feeling. Yes. Two more times, yeah? Two more times. Two more times. Love it. Let's go. Five, six, seven, go. Okay, that's time. That's time. Get into that movement. Give yourself some moves before music starts. Before that piece starts. Five, six. 
dancing with us at home thank you thank you thank you so much the oh. song is called lento l-e-n-t-o lento by jay Allen and Mr. Easy. Lento. slow down love it love it <laughs> sorry thank you so much everybody on here we hope you had an incredible time as much fun as we both had dancing i am so warm and energized right now i feel like i can take on the world this is amazing <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the coward. I feel like a little sassy right now. It's amazing. And yes, Kumbe, let's put this up because I want people to see. Thank you, Kumbe, for making this all possible. Check out Shari on Tuesday nights for donation-based classes. This is the most important thing about Kumbe. It is affordable classes. Yeah. Dance classes for everybody. Yeah. So yeah, really quickly about that. All of our classes are donation based, meaning that unless there are certain ones are like do carry a zero price point, like our lectures and things. Um, but they're mostly donation based starting at um, seven or ten dollars going upwards so that no matter what your situation is, you can still have fun with us and move with us. We have class cards. Um, we have all sorts of beautiful like lecture events. We have um, a community dance day for MLK Day. So come check us out for that. And we have amazing, you know, things for everybody. We have a book club. Yeah. So, and we have themes this month. So this month we're focusing on like healing and empowerment through divine feminine. Yeah. Um, I think in March we're doing like women in hip hop for Women's History Month. Yes. Um, we have themes every later on in the year. We'll do things centered around transformation and ancestral or, or transformation and um, transitioning and things like that. So around like the times of like Day of the Dead and like all of that. So we have themes correlating to like different things in our life and in the different cultures that you find across the diaspora. So check us out. We have something for everybody. Um, we're reading Pleasure Activism. Uh, by I think it's Adrian Moore, and we're reading Sula by Toni Morrison this month. So we have book lists, reading lists. We have playlists for you guys every oh month. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. If you <laughs> dance, all of that is there. Support this local dance school because look, we're gonna get through this at some point. Kumbe is gonna be open again for in-person live dancing, which I cannot wait to be yeah. able to come in and dance with you in person and give you a hug and like just sweat with you and dance with you. Shari, thank you. It was amazing getting to know you, this is the first time we're ever dancing together and meeting each other. And I feel so honored that this is the way we got to, to meet together. So yes. thank you. we're going to dance again more. I'm taking your class, girl. I am signed up. Please. <laughs> I hope to see all of y'all tonight at 6 p.m. <laughs> at kumedance.com. Love um, it. Reach us at .org. Either one works. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Michaela. Th this is a pleasure. Thank you again for having uh, me on board and having Kumbe, uh, you know, to start to kick this off the first barefoot, bare feet uh, live stream of the year. <laughs> yeah. Well, it feels like it's already been a year, right? I mean, what a, what a week, but this is, this makes me feel so much better about everything going on. It, it just brings so much joy. And like you said, like this is dance is healing. And we all need a lot of healing right now. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for moving all of your energy around with me and, and, and just getting into it. And thank you all, everybody at home and wherever you are who participated, for giving yourself a moment yeah. to get into movement, get out of your mind, get into your body, you know, and, and just do something new. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, everyone. We're going to be back next Tuesday, same time, same place. Just check our Bare Feet Live, uh, our website, YouTube channel, Facebook, all the fun places. But go to kumbedance.org. Check out all of Shari's classes. Be safe. Be well. Everyone wear your masks. And um, keep dancing. Shari, thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you.